Hi, everyone. Welcome to the weekly Team Spirit uh, coaching call. My name is Yvonne Santos. I am under Ashley in a team. Uh, I am a Diamond Lifetime Ranking Coach, and I've been a Beachbody Coach for three years now. Uh, and one of the things that I definitely had a really hard time when I first started was talking about the coaching opportunity. And as I grow and grow more in my business and going along with the theme of this week in Team Spirit, I figured why not continue to talk about how to grow your business with business builders. So the more you get accustomed to talking about it, the better you get at it. It's really just simple. It's very, very, very simple. It's like when you do, or I relate everything to our, our workouts because our workouts are essentially what is our business, right? So our business is if you know you push play on a consistent basis, then over time you're going to see results. It's no different with your business. If you do a little bit, a little bit at a time over time you're going to see if you do a little bit at every single day over time you're going to see some massive results so i wanted to um i personally like i'm going to tell be completely honest i'm an open book if you know my story from facebook and if you follow me you know that i just pretty much i can i'm open in what i say and what i do and my struggles and my successes like this week you know i just posted that I didn't want to get up to work out. I actually said no to my workout, but then I look in the mirror and I'm wearing like this gold digger shirt and I'm like, well, how fake and inauthentic is that if I don't like work out and nobody's going to know, right? If I do it or I don't, I'm the only one who's going to know, but I'm not going to be an in integrity with myself and my word and what I'm trying to do in my business. Um, and things don't align. So when we're talking about, um, I'm going to tell you, the more I talk about the coaching opportunities, the better I get at it, and the easier it becomes, and the more resilient I become when people say no to me. So I'm going to put Rebecca on mute, I think. There you go. The more resilient I become to no or not this time, and I'm like, okay, no problem, because what has happened over time is the more and more I ask, the more and more it becomes uh, like second nature to people. Like they see what I'm doing, they see what they're up to and they start to like, really it's like building up the nerve to say yes is what it is. That's all it is. And the more it's like, it's, I always say that beach body coaching is like dating, like the whole process and inviting and pretty much when you're asking a girl to, to dinner or something like that, or if you want, if you like a guy or something like that, whatever it is, um, the more and more you presence that you are attracted to them, the more and more they start to see things about you and the, eventually they'll say yes. They might, they might not. For those who want to, they're going to say yes. For those who don't want to, they're going to say no. It's the same thing with beach body coaching. The more and more they see it, the more and more it becomes like second nature and the more and more it's like, oh, okay, I want to say yes. So just like last week, that happened to me. Um, it was, uh, I've had a challenger who's been a challenger of mine, was a challenger, became a coach, and then she quit because she didn't want to pay the fifteen ninety five business fee. How many people have heard that before? And um, then she signed back up, and she's been doing like little workouts here and there. I've been supporting her. Hey, you're doing great. She's doing Shakeology. Things are starting to click for her. And then all of a sudden last week I did a post and hey, um, if you want to join my team, I said, you want to live beyond, then comment live beyond down below. And she did. And I was like, that's awesome. So now she's in my coach basics training. So it's, it's pretty amazing. And that was, she's probably been a coach or off and on for like a year and a half. So never give up is always, I think that was like a couple of years ago, that was the mantra. So that's the mantra for, for me in my life, never give up and continue. So I'm going to share a screen and a presentation that I have with you guys. And let me make sure I can do this real quick. Here we go. Awesome. Can you see that? Perfect. So, uh, 
the reason why I say recruit, like it's your job because yeah. it really is your job. Like building your business is yes, about helping other people and helping them grow. But as you're going to see in the slides below is really, why wouldn't you want to share this business with other people? I didn't know how, how easy it could be until um, I really made a difference. Oh, this is one of my favorite pictures. Yeah, I know it's one of my favorites too because Shaleen is in there and all my other Team Spirit girls are in there as well. Um, but it, it, it's, it really is your job. It's like, it's making a difference in the world. Like if you look at it, it's like if you know you found something that's going to really save the planet or help out in your family or, or help with organization skills or, you know, a great dress. I mean, whatever it is, you share it with other people, right? I mean, why wouldn't you want to share this? It's just an amazing opportunity for you to pay it forward. Um, once uh, I like to call myself a leader. I like to call myself everyone on my team a leader. It, once you've got your stuff handled, go out and like pass it on to other people, create other leaders. Don't just, uh, I call, honest, I'm going to be completely honest. And then you'll notice that about me is that I'm completely raw. It's like, don't be selfish with this business. Don't be selfish with passing it on to other people. You are giving them a gift and it should, it's, it's for them to take. So put it there on their plate for them to take it. Um, one of the things that I kind of wanted just to talk a little bit about is kind of what I was always aiming for, and I continuously strive for it. Whether or not I achieve it, that doesn't matter. What I, m matters is that I have a declaration and I have something to target on a monthly basis. If you know me, I'm a high achiever and I like to go above and beyond. And let me tell you, sometimes life gets in the way. Yeah. It does. And sometimes I miss these completely. And sometimes it doesn't happen at all. Sometimes I get one, maybe sometimes I get nothing. It doesn't matter. You continuously focus on the goal, focus on what you're up to, keep your eye on the prize and whether or not you make it happen. It doesn't matter. You're creating consistencies in your life. It's the same thing with like, I'm going to relate it back to our fitness. Um, look, I have been wanting abs for like ever. Do I have abs? No. Will I get abs? One day I will get abs. Every single month, every time I work out, my focus is I'm going to get abs. I'm going to get abs. I'm going to get abs. It's clear. And the more clear I am with it, the better and better I get at it. And one day I guarantee you, you're going to see abs on this rock, on this lady. <laughs> So this is what I aim for like on a monthly basis. And it just builds your mental muscle. If you're, if you, some people are, um, when they meet me, they say, oh, I can never do what you're doing. It's like, well, I couldn't do what I was doing a couple of years ago at all either. I couldn't talk to a bunch of coaches. Um, I couldn't talk to people who about the coaching opportunity or to join my challenge group. I was 30 pounds overweight. Um, I can barely survive with my kids. I was like living in a day, going to a day job. And seriously, I was surviving. It wasn't even living. And yet I do it every day to the point where now I'm clear on what I want. And no matter how long it's going to take me to get there, I'm going to get it. Um, so that's what I mean by building your mental muscle. I also call it, you know, flex your, your mental muscle. That muscle is like the hardest to train. It's harder than your body muscles. Um, and I, for one would rather have a six pack brain than six pack abs if we're going to go there. So I'm always trying to form my six pack brain that, and I just came up with that, by the way. <laughs> so with time, it'll happen. But one thing that I really like to uh, take a look at, and so you have those goals in place, and you really want to take a look at what are you doing on a daily basis, and really give yourself a, a, an a evaluation of what you're up to. So these are some questions. Um, if you know me, if you know my presentations, I don't like to be preaching the entire time or talking about it. I like it to be very interactive. So I want you to ask yourself these questions. How many times are you presenting the biz opportunity each week? Who can do, give me a show of hands or type in the chat box? Like, are you doing it once? Or are you doing it twice? Raise your hand. Once or twice. I didn't see any, everybody. Okay. Um, and really write these down. If you want to, I like to share them because once you're out in the open, 
it gives you accountability. So if you want your challengers and your, um, your business partners to be honest with you, then guess what? You're going to have to be honest with yourself. It starts with you. Always, always starts with you. So how many times are you presenting it each week? Are you presenting it one time? Are you not presenting it? Are you presenting it only when you feel like it? Um, how many times are you presenting a month? So these are stats that you get to see and you get to really track in order for you to get to the end result. How many coaches do you sign per month? Are they discount coaches? Are they business builders? Are they partners? What are you doing? These are things that you need to definitely take a look at and just be honest and go, okay, I didn't sign anybody else as a discount coach. That's my bad. Okay, what, did, what was missing? Where do I need to go next? And how can I get over it in order to get my coach, right? Because it's not about how you do it, it's about whether or not you do it. That's what matters. Whether or not you do it is gonna get you the results that you want. And then how much personal development are you doing a day? Are you doing I, um, listening to podcasts? Are you listening, are you reading books or audibles? Everybody, everybody knows a personal development is huge. It's that mental muscle that you are building. It's like tough skin that you're building around your mental muscle. So then when someone says no, you're like, okay, that's great. Fine. What's next? And let me move on. Not I don't care or forget her or anything else. No, it's like, all right, thanks a lot. One thing that I learned in business is you don't burn bridges. You don't burn bridges because you never know when they're going to come back. You never know when you're going to need support or not even just need them, but just it's about relationships, right? So you're building relationships in your business so that you can, you know, go back to them and have referrals or just have enthusiasm and have positive, 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 positive vibes around you um, without the, the expectation, expectation of reciprocity. Um, and at the same time, yes, you make it a referral from them. I always ask, Hey, fine. Not a problem. Great. Do you know of anybody else who's interested in earning an income by sweating and drinking shakes all day long? I, I go there. I'll, I'll say that. I'll just be completely wrong. They're like, what are you talking about? You know, so then they might start to ask me. Um, and I share with other people what my goals are, but really, establishing that mental muscle and getting that thick skin is really where you need to go in the business. And the only way you're going to do it is if the only way you're going to build it is if you do it. It's the same thing with our fitness. The only way you're going to build that muscle is if you do it. Um, so how many people are you, uh, are you meeting or adding each day? Uh, I know that when you're first starting, a lot of people say like five, I'm seriously, jacking it up when I'm in like a complete mind spurt or whenever I have the time to do it. Um, especially now my schedule has fluctuated so much that what I do is I will cram and I will do like 15 or 20 people in one day, like just go at it because honestly my schedules have been very, very erratic. I'm doing a, um, a leadership training right now. So whenever I have the time to focus and really zone in, I'll do as much as I can, however I can in the time period. Uh, and how many success club points do you earn each month? So if you're like, Remember, I already told you in the previous slide, if you're, you're focused on, if you're focused for big goals, then you're going to get, you might fall short, but you're going to probably more than likely are going to meet your minimum targets. So if you're focused on like five or 10 success club points, then you might fall short. But if you focus higher than that, if you're focused on like 15 or 20 success club points, I know that might scare you scare you right now but if you're focused on that you might go hit you will hit five and ten because you're pushing yourself to get to the next level right and it doesn't matter if you miss that 15 or 20 what happens is that you're pushing and it's getting you to what you need to what levels you need to get to in order to get your business rolling every single month and then are you sponsoring team builders? I think that's a really good one. So these questions, I know for some um, don't like to answer them in public, but who would like to answer some? I'm going to put you on the spot just because that's how we grow. 
Anybody want to answer? Everyone's going to be shy. Everyone's going to be shy. If you're not doing it, that's totally fine. This is why I'm doing this call. Not a problem. Okay. So just so you know what I'm doing is how many times am I presenting the biz op each week? I can do it differently. I'll either do it, um, I'm probably doing it like two, two times each, two times a week, I minimum, either presenting it, like actually picking up the phone or having someone come into a coach sneak peek or I love, love, love webinars. And I'm just starting to do coach sneak peeks. How many coaches do I sign per month? I'm probably like around one or two a month. Um, how much personal development are you doing today? Every single day, no matter what. I either do it when I'm working out, or which is like half an hour, or when I'm running, which can be an hour, or when I'm sitting on my desk, um, and that can be all day long. Like seriously, plugged in. Most of the time, it's um, podcasts that I'm listening to. Uh, how many people are you meeting, adding each day? That can depend. Probably like around five new people every single day, and that's either adding them to my friends list or interacting with new people that are my friends that I have no idea who they are and they don't know who I am. Um, and how many success club points do I earn each month? I'm like five or 10 right there. And so this month I'm striving to go even higher than that. So I'm pushing to go higher in order to get over the five or 10. Um, sponsoring team builders. My team this last month has been like crazy. They went crazy. So I sponsored one, two, three, three team builders last month and one adopted team member who is not under directly under me, but I still consider her mine. Uh, one of the most important things is that really what is Beachbody and I really love, love, love the national wake up call, which was last week on Monday where and I'm drawing a blank of who it was, but I love what she said is that you have got to believe in the company. If you believe that you can achieve it, if you believe in the company, then you, it will happen. That is the first step. If you believe that you will be a five-star coach, five-star diamond coach, you're going to do it because you say so. If you believe you're going to be a diamond coach, then go for it. You're going to be a diamond coach because you say so. And you're going to do whatever it takes in order to get there. But first and foremost, you've got to believe in it. You've got to believe in yourself. And even if you have doubts, like when I first started out as coaching, I had doubt. I was like, oh my God, could I do this? Could I not do this? How am I going to do this? Really, personal development helped me so much. And then I just kept saying it over and over again. I know Lisa continuously um, talks about how having a mantra and or having your own little spiel. Like I have my own little spiel that when I wake up in the morning, I just say it over and over and over again every single morning. It's my alarm. It's the first thing that I read and the first thing that I see when I wake up. They're my goals. And it could be something like I will be a five-star diamond coach by – August 2017 and I am leading successful business builders in my business who are achieving success club five or ten, whatever it may be. It's just that. So it's just a mantra that you can create on your own. And most and foremost, you've the belief to help people achieve their goals and enjoy a healthy, fulfilling life has got to be at the forefront of what you're up to. Because with that, you're going to help yourself, you're going to help other people, and it's just going to be amazing. Now we're going into what's blocking you. Because when it, if you're not believing in it, there's something that's blocking you. And it could be, this is where personal development really helps. Because it helps you to identify, like, is it blocking you from, from fear of success, fear of responsibility, fear of failure? You know, there's so many different things that could be blocking you from what you're up to. Um, and that's where I've learned, uh, for me, it's, it's fear of being overwhelmed, like it gets too crazy, or feel that I'm not going to be able to follow through. And one thing that Bob Lucido gave me some really great coaching on is um, I tend to be like promoter style where I get really, really, really excited and then I don't follow through or I follow through halfway and then I don't like follow through all the way. So he's like, well, and that's something that I don't like about promoters and I'm more of a controller than I am a promoter. But he said, 
why don't you redefine what a promoter means to you in order for you to embrace it and really love that part of who you are because being a promoter in my sense is something that really attracts people and gets them excited um, and that's part of the business you got to get people excited and energized and I mean this is fun like what we do like seriously to get paid to work out sweat eat healthy drink your shakes and post selfies like all day long on Facebook I it's a dream job really um, so identify what's blocking you and what's stopping you? Asking yourself those hard questions. Like going back to how many times are you presenting? Um, how much personal development are you doing? And looking at it and saying, well, I'm not doing personal development. Well, why aren't you doing personal development? What's stopping you from doing personal development? What, is the, what, is, what are the prices that you're paying for not doing personal development as well? So looking at it the other way. Well, by not doing personal development, then I'm not growing in my business. Then I'm not getting more, I'm not getting confident. I'm not reaching out to people. I'm not, I'm not owning who I am. So ask yourself those questions. Why am I not doing it? And then what prices am I paying from not doing it? Um, and that you can determine what, um, what's blocking you, especially when you're talking about the business opportunity. When you're talking about the business opportunity with someone or when you're not or lack thereof, ask yourself, why do I not, why am I not telling her this? Why am I not, like she's talking about like she doesn't have a job and she's looking for a job but she wants to stay home with her kids. You know, why aren't I reaching out to her and letting her know what's going on? Is it because I'm afraid she's gonna block me on Facebook? Is it because I'm afraid that she's gonna judge me? Is it because I'm afraid that she, you know, she's going to be like, well, you don't make any money out of it? Is it because she's going to tell me it's too hard? You know, those are things that you ask yourself so that you can then overcome them and move on. Um, and, you know, sometimes what I do is when I'm reaching out to people, I just really tell them exactly what I do. It's very, very simple. I don't complicate it. The more I complicate it, the more I get, it gets confusing and it becomes a mumble jumble. So I really keep it super, super simple. Um, I tell them what I'm up to. This is pretty much what I say. Some very, very similar. This is more generic, but I make it part of who I am. I make it my style. So I left it very, very simple here. Um, but I will put stuff like, you know, stuff that I love to do, like that I love coffee, that I love chocolate, that I love being with my kids, and what this business is doing for me. So those are just some things. Uh, who do, who can you recruit? Okay, so here's the fun part, ready? So you're gonna go into your Facebook page right now, and you're going to look at your Facebook scroll, and you're gonna look at everyone. Everyone is a potential coach. Once you start thinking about people, like everyone is a potential coach, whether or not they say yes to you, uh, you start to get creative. You start to create possibilities in uh, like how to, to make it happen for them, how you can work together. You know, um, I had a challenger who tagged me on a gift that I gave her and uh, she tagged me and then all these other people started, started to comment on her and then on her page. And then I said, hey, have you reached out to those people? And she's like, oh no, I really didn't think about it. And I was like, you gotta be a coach. Let's sign you up, you know? so. Just having that level of excitement really generates excitement. So I, whenever I, any, seriously, anybody, like I even tell my, my, my mother, like you could be a coach. You can tell these people, like it's just fun. Just have fun with it. And then just go out and just invite anybody. So go down through your Facebook list right now and you're going to identify people um, who, I don't care if you're, if you say, no, I don't want to go there. Go there. Have you ever had that happen where you're like, oh, okay, I don't want to ask that person because of some excuse or because, oh, they got it together or, oh, why would they even want to be my coach, blah, 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 stories that you're creating. Go there. So right now, 
scroll down your Facebook feed. I'm gonna scroll with you, okay? This is what you're gonna do. You're just gonna go in. Mm -hmm. Scroll, scroll, scroll. And you're gonna comment on their page on whatever they did. I'm getting lots of ads, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay, here's this one gal. She's like a complete fitness guru. She went to CrossFit LA this morning. So I'm just going to say, wow. And I'm just going to comment. I'm going to go, my God, you killed it this weekend. You killed it this morning. <coughs> say something. Say something interesting that you want to um, comment on. So I'm just going to say, hey, girl, you killed it this morning next time show me your sweat your sweaty sweaty glittery self yay um and then i'm gonna message her right and i've spoken to this one before this gal before And I, you, all you do is just, hey, I saw you sweating or what, refer back to the comment that you made on her post, okay? And just say, I saw your workout this morning. That was intense. How great does it feel? So simple, simple as that. And then start a dialogue. What you'll do next is as you're starting a dialogue with them, you know, just go, hey, a symbol, gradually go into what you do. Uh, talk about your workout or like, and, and for this, instance it's about what i did now if you guys want to volunteer and say what you commented on someone i can definitely coach you through that not a problem but on this scenario i said i'm going to wait until she comments back to me then i'll share my workout you know war stories and then i will transition and say hey girl you know what you do exactly what i do you post on social media about your workouts you inspire other people to like work out and comment on your face have you ever considered coaching and then boom, go into that. It's super, super easy. It's straight into the point. You don't even have to talk about like earning income or anything else like that. They might say yes, she might say no. But the more and more you get used to saying, have you ever considered coaching? Then, ah, she just responded. <laughs> super quick and easy, right? Because you're interested in other people. So the more interested you are, the better you are. Uh, now I want you to go into your challenge groups. So go into your challenge groups, and I want you to pick someone who has, who is active, who is commenting a lot, or who is posting a lot, whatever it may be. Whether if they're posting a lot, great. Say, hey, girl, you're doing great in this challenge group. Um, how do you feel? And really check in with them, see how they're doing. Then what I want you to do is. Go over and assign them a day. Hey, you know what? I'm going to be really busy on Friday. Do you mind? Today's Wednesday. So on Friday, just let them know. Ashley did this to me when um, she went to Summit and she assigned me as like the inter intermediate or temporary coach. And she said, can you take care of the weekend post? All you got to do is do exactly what you're doing. No different. Post something inspirational and get these gals moving. What do you say? And so then you'll let them comment and, and post over the weekend or however long you want them to do it. And then on Monday, go, God, you're a lifesaver, or really like acknowledge them. You know, part, fourth vital behavior is recognition. Acknowledge them, give them a shout out in your challenge group, do something, but give back to them, you know, for the amazing job that they did. And then let them know, hey, you know what? You did a great job. I'm really happy and I'm super thankful. Um, have you ever thought about doing what I do? You've already transitioned them into it. So just go for it. Don't wait. Do not wait like three days or something like that. 
to comment because if you wait, that emotion that they have, like honestly, you're recognizing someone for doing something great and then you like kind of leave them high and dry. It's kind of like you're going on a date and the guy brings you to the front door and you think he's going to kiss you and then he pulls away. You're like, what? That's it? No, there has to be something else. So you go for it. Go for it and ask them, are you interested in doing what I'm doing? You're already doing it. It's amazing. Why not just join our team? Super simple. I love, love, love refer three, get yours free. I always, always, always say it. Not everyone takes it. I, in fact, I think a lot of people don't ever take it when they first start, but eventually they do. And that's how a lot of my business builders have actually started the business is when they're like, oh, I can get mine for free. Oh, okay. Let me see. It, again, you say over and over and over again, it becomes just second nature to them. They're like, okay, I think I want to do it. And then they start building the business and they're not actually targeting um, to get theirs free. They're starting to target they're starting to go above that, above and beyond. That's my word, beyond, go beyond. Uh, one thing, I'm a little impartial, uh, I'm a little, I'm okay, I'm just hesitant to planting seeds. Because when coaches say planting seeds, they come back to me and they'll say, oh, I'm planting seeds, I'm planting seeds. But they don't follow up. And like I said, I am not a fan of promoters, so I had to redefine what promoter is for me. Because promoters will just like plant seeds, plant, plant seeds, and then they like don't follow up. So following up is huge. So I don't really like to say planting seeds, but I will right now until I find a better term for it. So plant seeds, welcome new coaches. Um, I go back to my old coaches and old customers. Right now I'm doing a big, um, going through my, my, my list of all old clients and just going into them and calling them and calling every single one of them to get them back into it. And then I'm going to follow up. So I'm going to call them today, call them tomorrow. Thursday is my call-in day and then follow up with them. Posting about the coaching opportunity is your funnel. You know how everyone's talking about marketing and ads and all this great stuff? Posting about the coaching opportunity and the opportunities and your successes and your wins is your funnel on your personal page. Use those likes to get to start interacting with people. Liking is crazy. Use your transformational posts as your funnels. Go through everyone. If you see people who are commenting consistently or liking consistently say hey girl there must be something going on there you and I click we're on the same page you're always checking out my co my coaching opportunity posts or my coach posts or my transformational Tuesday posts tell me what has you interested I don't even say would you like to become a coach I just say tell me what has you interested go straight for it and I celebrate every win no matter what so this is my little, I know you, most of you guys are going through your story. This is my little avatar. Uh, and I've become very, i become more open. Um, and I will send some of my posts over to Ashley to <laughs> get like a final validation. So she's always a huge supporter. And I, I, you know how they tell you, use and abuse your upline? Yeah, I do. So go for it. Uh, where, oh yes, where do you find them on social media? Oh, I didn't title the last one, so don't worry about that. Um, where do you find this? Well, actually this, where do you find people that you can actually go out and present the coaching opportunity to or talk to them about? Like I said, use your posts, use your coach op posts, use even, even people like if they like your food or whatever posts, you know, if you see consistent people liking, if you see people consistently liking your posts, whether it's social family, whatever it is, there's a connection there. 
some, that you are attracting them somehow. Talk to that. Really go out to them and say, hey, we're on the same level. We like the same things. I know you're, you see, I see you liking my stuff. There's nothing wrong with saying I see you liking my stuff. Here's the thing. What can go wrong? They stop liking your stuff? Okay. You weeded them out. They're not, you're using your Facebook page for business opportunities, right? For business. You're not using it for social media and put crap up there. So if they stop liking your stuff, all right, make room for other people. Don't worry about it. Um, we talked about the emotion. Oh no, we didn't talk about the emotion. So when I'm talking about my posts, my social media posts, I really, really focus on the emotion and something that can really draw people into it and really create some vulnerability or excitement or passion, um, in my posts. So whether like something tangible, especially I've been consistent now with posting income, um, and because what I said before at the beginning of the call, if it's something that you're, well, I didn't say this specifically, but if it's something that you're resistant to, then practice it more. So if you're resistant to presenting the coaching opportunity, practice it more. Or if there is a level of fear that comes up, jump into the fire, like stare into the flame, go after it, because then it becomes second nature for you. Uh, but uh, I always like to go with some sort of vulnerability or passion or making it tangible. I compare it. So a lot of people, um, a lot of coaches will, will post like how much their check is. You know, and maybe you're not at the level where your check is like $1,000 a week or something like that, right? Maybe it's like $150 a week or something. Make it relatable. So you're saying something like, you know, my paycheck this week pays for my manicures for the entire month. You know, how many times do people go and get their manicure? Sometimes it's like once a week. Sometimes you go two times a week. And then you show when you go and get your manicures, you know, pay for, you know, or in your Facebook story live, like I took my son shopping the other day. Um, and in my Facebook, uh, the storyboards or the Instagram stories, he went shopping and I did a little tagline that said paid for by coach income, bam, you know, something like that. And I'm going to milk that. I'm going to do a different post like that. So there's like an emotional tie that you can do with the income. It doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be, uh, uh, like the actual amount. It's just something, something comparing it to. Uh, I know a lot of people do groceries. I do groceries once in a while, but I don't do it that much um, as as I used to. Uh, but I really like like stuff that happens with like the kids, like uh, summer school or extracurricular activities or um, what else is there? Shoes, manicure, stuff like that. Da -da -da. Sneak peeks, sneak peeks. I've just started to do. Uh, and just like I said, what you resist, you go after it. So this is something that I seriously did in five minutes. And it was a bust. I'm not going to lie. It was a complete bust this week. It didn't work out. And what are you going to do? You fail forward, learn, learn again. So now I know I have to keep it open and I have to talk about it a lot more behind the scenes. I think I talked to like maybe 30 people and I got zero. So, like I said, I like to share with you what I what works, what doesn't work. If I mess up, I'll tell you that one sucked. So I'm gonna try again. I, I do love my webinars, and the webinars are really fun. Uh, they get to see you for who you are, just like you're seeing me for who I am right now. I am imperfectly perfect and I love it so those are really really fun and going to super Saturdays going to you know all these different events just taking selfies like crazy with anyone and everyone uh, I plan my if you, how many people are going to summit this year and Carrie, Carrie you're not going to summit you're going to summit she's she can't. Rebecca's going to summit. Ashley's going to summit. Oh, you're going to summit. Yay. So plan out your pictures. Plan them out. Like, 
I planned out my pictures and said, we got to do it this way. We got to, we have to do this for business opportunities. Uh, we got to do this at living in the life of a coach. Um, we planned them out. It's, it's fun. And you have content for the entire year and you have content for your biz op posts. Um, I think we're done. Uh, this is the, this is the, the, the secret sauce is follow up. Forget the ad. You could do the ad. You can do the sneak peeks. You can do the biz ops. You can stay connected with your pipeline, whatever it is. The secret sauce is following up and consistently following up. That's the best way to do it. There's like, it, you, you can follow up however you want. It doesn't really matter. But that's pretty much the secret sauce. Um, and most of all, you got to recruit. You got to recruit. Because teamwork makes the dream work. I love that one. And uh, I wouldn't be here if Ashley didn't recruit me. So my coaches wouldn't be here if I didn't recruit them. So I think of it as a gift and you got to pass it on. And then I wanted to show you just how amazing it is when you're building your team. So if you can see this, great. If not, uh, here we go. This is probably better. Can you see that? So if you're in an Emerald, you're probably earning, it's a lot of retail. You're focused on retail more so than team bonus. And you're probably earning a little bit of team bonus. And then as you increase in rank, oh, hold on. Sorry, the blow dryer's on. Albert, can you tell Bianca to turn off the blow dryer? Albert, tell Bianca to turn off the blow dryer. Bianca, turn off the blow dryer. Sorry. So as you get you increase in rank, you're going to see a shift from retail commissions to team bonus commissions. And then you have your matching bonus commissions. So that is one thing that I have seen. And, and, and like I can show it to you here, but not until you actually see it in your account. Do you, does it click for you? So remember when I said you got to believe in the company, you got to believe in the process. You got to believe it because other people have done it and you can too. So believe it. And for a very long time, I was like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And then I started to see a shift from retail commissions to team bonus commissions. And now I'm starting to see some massive matching bonus commissions. So that's what's, in, what's inspiring to me to really hear how other people are doing it and that it is possible So, and that you can do it too. So based on the actions that I um, had talked to you today about, how many people have received um, messages back? You got messages back? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So what I like to do is I like to keep the post open in Team Beyond and I'm making myself available for the next like hour. So from 6.15 to 7.15. So if you're posting in there and I'll coach you through it. Um, so comment in there saying, hey, I got this response. How do I do it? Where do I go? How do I talk to her? I say give yourself another 15 to 20 minutes I like to do that after every call to actually implement it. It's fresh in your mind. Your mind is going sparkly like crazy. Lots of emotions. Remember I talked about being when someone's in the state of emotion, go for it. Don't, oh, I'm going to wait like a couple of days. No, you don't wait a couple of days. Don't wait a couple of hours. Just do it right now. So just go comment on some people and then message them and then transition them and say, hey, you do what I do. You're posting on social media. You're talking about, you're open and you're sharing. Have you ever thought about being a coach? It's as simple as that. You're going to get some interaction. I promise you. So if you guys are up to that game, I'm going to be up and available for you for another hour in that comment section and um if you i don't have everybody's name mary andrea mary ann lisa uh kara rebecca there's someone on the phone and then i think i got everybody else's name yes awesome and danielle perfect <coughs> does anyone have any questions for me
No questions. Awesome. Are you guys excited? Yay! Danielle, Danielle, you <laughs> Yeah, I love that! Did you see how she went crazy? Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> oh, that was great and excited from Ashley. Oh my god, I love that you put your hands in the air. You're you're like, oh my god, team beyond all the way. Um so go ahead. I will be available for the next hour. Uh, and I mean, I'll check up in that post, but I'm, I just like to, like I said, keep it open and do some actionable items immediately after every call. So I'm going to stop share and you guys have an amazing evening. Thank you so much for coming on. I see Tiff. Tiff the myth. She's my G. Hi. <laughs> and good luck and have fun and as soon as you want to stop keep going i'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs>